Okay. Hi. Thank you for coming on. Greetings. Okay. I, I gotta tell Greetings. you. Greetings. Being too quiet has very rarely been a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you have the best <laughs> laugh, I think, in all of Blizzard. Probably just all of California. Anyway, um, so first off, I think we just jump right into it since we don't have a lot of time. MMR slash new player pool. The question is, um, are arenas matched solely based off of your win record? Uh, so here's the deal. Uh, there, when we look at matchmaking for arena, we just look at your win-loss rating. Mm -hmm. So if you have five wins and two losses, uh, and I have five wins and two losses, and we both queue up, it's the same thing. It's, yes. uh, we just, we, we, um, They're we treated exactly the same, yep. Right. Now, uh, we do do something for people who are brand new to the arena. Um, I think you were seeing some of this when you were uh, testing this out. If you're brand new to the arena, it's a really, um, it's a really tough experience because so many of the people playing in the arena mm -hmm. are playing Definitely. a lot of runs. So the, for the first few runs through the arena, we, we give you about a loss worth of, uh, we just kind of pretend you have one more loss than you do, basically, um, for matchmaking purposes. So you just have a very slightly better experience there. Um, Wait, so, also... so, so, so it, when you're at two losses, mm -hmm. you're going to have a significantly easier time then because it thinks you have three losses? Uh, yes, except that there isn't a lot of people who have three losses. Right, right, right. You're going right. to end up matching you very close to uh, someone with two losses, right? Right. Um, but um, we also try, if there's other people who are in their first few arena runs, you try we to do, match them. Pre we prefer to match you against people in their first few arena runs. But once once you're out of that range, it's exactly the same for everybody. There isn't any um, memory of your previous arena runs that we keep track of to try mm -hmm. and um, uh, you know make it make it more confusing than just win loss ratio. Okay. So, do you know how many how many runs that is for the new player pool? Uh, it, it's, it's something that I think we, we are still tweaking a little bit, okay. um, but it's it's a few. It's not it's not very many. It's in the realm of two two or three runs. Okay. Uh, but uh, I'll say that in general, um, we would like to make arena more. Um, we want to make arena. I think I was saying we want to make arena better for everybody. Everyone. Uh, and I think that includes just keeping. The arena population growing. We want people to be enjoying arena and getting into it. And so making the first time experience uh, as good as we can make it, I think helps. A little do, you have, bit. do you have any idea? I don't know if you can go. Oh, my notepad with all my notes is gone. Anyway, <laughs> I'm so mad. Um, do you have any idea uh, what or would you would you be willing to share what, what percentage of Hearthstone players play arena? Uh, it changes over time. Uh, I don't have the number right in front of me, so I. I uh, but it's. I don't know, um, whatever it is, we'd like to increase that percentage. In general, I think Hearthstone yeah. is more fun whenever um, you're trying all the different pieces of it. You know, there's lots to experience with Hearthstone. And I think also people get, um, you know, if, if they're having fun in one mode, great. But I think eventually you like want to know what else there is to discover about Hearthstone. And um, I think all the modes are fun in their own way. Definitely. Um, I think the second thing that I wanted to cover was, do you have any intention of releasing a leaderboard or some sort of a ranking system or some sort of like benchmark, right? And Constructed, uh, I mean, I made this video about it um, in a release today, but- Yes, yeah, so gonna... I, I saw the video and actually it's funny because it, traditionally I, I thought about like th this exact thing. I think it's interesting, arena as a competitive format. I love seeing arena tournaments um, I think there are ways that we could potentially be supporting those a little bit more within client support, but um, it's a little bit tricky. Um, and specifically, a leaderboards, I was worried because um, you you would if you retired to run for some reason, not knowing that there were these boards, you feel like you'd sabotage yourself in some way. I actually liked your pitch about doing it on a um, a time scale, like this is this month's arena or something like that, because then you could say, oh, okay. I was messing around in the arena before, but this month I want to see how far I can get into the leaderboards. That seemed really cool to me, so um, I really like that suggestion. I'll, I'll talk about it. Oh, that's so exciting to me. 
Holy, I think a lot of people are going to be excited about that because... I'm not promising anything. Yeah, right, right. I'm going right. to talk to everybody over here and see what they think, but it was an interesting solution to me. I did drag uh, Murps and, and um, well, Murps and Edwakta and Shady and Ratsma. Did I freeze? Oh, okay, you're just frozen. Okay. Oh, yeah, just, oh my gosh. You're my heart stopped. Yeah. I'll just do I, this for the rest I, of the interview. <laughs> You can tell. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I was just paranoid. Like, did it? Is it gone again? But I, I dragged them in and uh, into a Skype conversation. I was like, if you have any questions or you want me to say anything, ask anything, let me know. And they all were all like, oh, leaderboard, leaderboard. That was like the number one thing. And I guess, um, yeah. So I think the arena community would really appreciate some sort of some sort of nod to that because. Sure. And you actually, your, your video, I thought was was interesting. I had kind of. Um... Uh, two other big points, which is uh, one of them was just kind of I, the way I took it was more about balance in arena yes. between classes. The and class, I, the class, um, rare, the rarities of the cards seems really, really. It makes sense in um, what you guys were trying to do. You want simple cards to be common. You want like more complex cards to be rare, and you want like crazier mechanics to be epics, and then awesome crazy explosive stuff for legendaries that makes sense from a design point of view but when you bring that into arena and you look at the the power of the class commons you can really see mage shining and then especially with the new card what <laughs> why you're talking about, the, you're talking about the, the one we just announced today yeah the i, I, don't, I don't remember the what is it called? Baseless something um, summons a, th it's a, a random three cost six mana saw, five five summon say, a random three drop I'll say that um, you've mentioned a lot of the things that we think about when determining rarity for cards, but arena is actually a big one. Um, and um, in the in the uh, adventure that came out before, which mm -hmm. was Old Gods League of Explorers, we actually did uh, a lot of uh, stuff there specifically to um, help with some of that problem. Uh, I think we did make some good progress there. Ethereal's a common, isn't that? Yeah, and, and, and so is Keeper of Uldemont, yeah. I know. We did, oh, so, you know, do a lot of work to help with some Warriors. of the classes, I think, that we're mm -hmm. not doing as well in the arena. I don't think it's a problem to have powerful commons in in classes, right. but the, the problem is that um, is that maybe it's not balanced. So I think, actually, to me, what would be more interesting is um, just more controls on our end to be able to respond to balance. I actually think arena might... Um, you know, I think there's more experimentation we could be doing in general with Arena. Right now, you can just see every card, you know, there, there's the particular kind of breakpoints of when rares show up. There's mm -hmm. these sets of the ones available in Arena. I thought it was cool when we did the Goblins versus Gnomes thing where um, for a little while before we released it, they were available only in the Arena. That was awesome. Um, and I, I wonder if, if it would be fun to do stuff like, hey, for this week, we're going to triple the, the chance to get high rarity cards in the Arena. Or... Um, you know, now it's only cards from the Grand Tournament in the arena for this week or things like that. I think that's kind of interesting. Um, and I, I wonder if um, arena would be more fun if it was kind of more uh, different over time, I guess. Yeah, almost like Brawl. I mean, not, not as extreme, but you have a different flavor every week. That would be awesome. I mean, I would like to see some sort of variance. And um, it makes the drafting experience more fun as well. And I think that uh, our ability to tweak... Um, Balance is something that we've been talking about. It, it, how to get more tools there, um, aside from rarity changing. I think just in general, that's something we, we're interested in. Just being be having more levers on. I guess I could say we don't have any like announcements about how to do that, and we even haven't figured out exactly the best ways to do that. But it's something that we're we're sensitive to and we're thinking about. Awesome. That's that's good to hear. And uh, I guess lastly, people were really curious. Sorry, I know you're pressed on time. Um, lastly, the big question is, do you have any plans on continuing to balance Arena in, in regards to the classes? And I think we uh, already touched on this a little bit, but... Um... Yeah, I mean, I, I, specific, actually, I wanted to say also that the card that, that you were uh, worried about, I guess, from balance perspective, uh, it, it, it's a little bit hard to uh, analyze that particular card. I think, in general, the most swingy cards in the arena are removal and AOE. And, uh, you know, a, a big powerful minion has less of a um, an impact from that perspective. But also, you haven't seen any cards for the other classes yet. And there's some, you know, we That is like, true. You know, mm -hmm. Like, the, even the warrior cards we've released so far, I think, are pretty powerful in the arena. Definitely. Um, 
and there's there's a lot of other cards that have yet to be revealed for which was the old gods. So, I think I think for the arena community, they're scared of mage because they already have so many tools for board clears yep. that when you give them strong minions over and over behind those board clears, it becomes like okay, you can't beat them in a minion battle. You can't beat them because they could just clear your board. So now you've given this like. Arguably the top two class, right? I think it's maybe second in arena. I think Rogue is the highest winner. Well, right now, in the current meta. In right? the current meta. In yeah. the current meta, it goes Rogue, then Mage, then Paladin, I believe. Right? Look, you're one of the best arena players. <laughs> I will trust you. <laughs> I, I, I think Mage is, like, top three for sure. Um, probably top two. And just, like, Water Elemental is so powerful. Mana Worm is so powerful. You have... Sorcerer's Apprentice, which is, I mean, it's fair, but, like, the spells behind that aren't so fair in, in a player experience. And then Ethereal Conjure is a way for them to have longevity. And then you have board clear after board clear after board clear. And so yeah, it's just this all is of just that speaking combined. speaking to the, the fact that I think it's, we would like to have more tools for balance. Uh, it, I'm excited to see how the arena meta shakes out after Wish Was the Old Gods comes out. But, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we're, we have been talking about these kinds of things and what we can do to make them better. I know... Uh, you know, talk talk is cheap, but uh, we're, we're going to continue to try and make improvements in this area. Hey, I uh, I actually had, was in the middle of a meeting and I asked, asked everybody to to wait while we had our interview. So everybody, everybody, said oh, 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 I'm sorry, sorry for <laughs> holding up your meeting. Thank uh, you so much for meeting. It, was, for it was awesome talking to you. We should talk more in the future. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye, everybody. Okay, I closed it in time, I think. Uh, <coughs> here we go. I hope I covered most of the stuff that you guys wanted to hear. I think for a lot of the big arena players, it was um, it was leaderboard, which actually sounds quite promising from what he was saying, right? That's awesome. I think everyone wants to see an official leaderboard with official stats and has something to work towards. I think I hosted Chess Dude yesterday, and people kept asking, people kept asking um, him, like, why don't you play Arena? And he was like, because what's the point? There's no in-game rewards. Like, you get to 12, okay, great. Um, you get dust, you get cards. That's, who cares? There's no tournament rewards. What's the point of excelling in Arena? And I, I couldn't help but agree, and that's, that's, I think that's, that's the point that Arena is at. But yeah, if they do if they do end up doing a leaderboard, I feel like climbing it could be fun, you know, having special rewards for people who place well on the leaderboard or something like that. It'd be really cool. It's the same thing. It's, yes. uh, we just, we, we, um, They're treated we both... exactly the same, yep. Right. Now, uh, we do do something for people who are brand new to the arena. Um, I think you were seeing some of this when you were uh, testing this out. If you're brand new to the arena, it's a really, um, it's a really tough experience because so many of the people playing in the arena mm -hmm. are playing Definitely. a lot of runs. So the, for the first few runs through the arena, we, we give you about a loss worth of uh, we just kind of have to pretend you have one more loss than you do, basically, um, for matchmaking purposes. So you just have a very slightly better experience there. Um, Wait, so, also... so, so, so it, when you're at two losses, mm -hmm. you're going to have a significantly easier time then, because it thinks you have three losses? Uh, yes. Okay, hi, thank you for coming on. Greetings, okay. I, I gotta tell Greetings. you. Greetings. Being too quiet has very rarely been a problem. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but you have the best <laughs> laugh, I think, in all of Blizzard. Probably just all of California. Anyway, um, so first off, I think we just jump right into it since we don't have a lot of time. MMR slash new player pool. The question is, um, are arenas matched solely based off of your win record? Uh, so here's the deal. Uh, there, when we look at ma 
matchmaking for arena we just look at your win loss rating mm -hmm. so if you have five wins and two losses uh and i have five wins and two losses and we both except that there isn't a lot of people who have three losses. right right, right, right. Gonna, gonna end up matching you very close to uh someone with two losses right right um but um we also try if there's other people who are in their first few arena runs you try we to do, match them. Pre we prefer to match you against people in their first few arena runs but once once you're out of that range it's exactly the same for everybody there isn't any um memory of your previous arena runs that we keep track of to try mm -hmm. and um uh, you know make it make it more confusing than just win loss ratio okay so do you know how many how many runs that is for the new player pool uh it, it's it's something that i think we we are still tweaking a little bit Okay. Um, but it's it's a few. It's not it's not very many. It's in the realm of two or two or three runs. Okay. Uh, but uh, I'll say that in general, um, we would like to make arena more. Um, we want to make arena. I think I was saying we want to make arena better for everybody. Everyone. Uh, and I think that includes just keeping the arena population growing. We want people to be enjoying arena and getting into it. And so making the first time experience uh, as good as we can make it, I think helps a little yeah. bit. Do you have any idea? I don't know if you can go. Oh, my notepad and all my notes is gone. Anyway, <laughs> I'm so mad. Um, do you have any idea uh, what or would you would you be willing to share what what percentage of Hearthstone players play Arena? Uh, it changes over time. Uh, I don't have the number right in front of me, so I. I uh, but it's. I don't know. Um, whatever it is, we'd like to increase that percentage. In general, I think Hearthstone yeah. is more fun whenever. Um, you're trying all the different pieces of it. You know, there's lots to experience with Hearthstone. And I think also people get, um, you know, if, if they're having fun in one mode, great. But I think eventually you, like, want to know what else there is to discover about Hearthstone. And um, I think all the modes are fun in their own way. Definitely. Um, I think the second thing that I wanted to cover was, do you have any intention of releasing a leaderboard or some sort of a ranking system or some sort of, like, benchmark, right? And constructed... Uh, I mean, I made this video about it um, in a release today, but... Yes, I, I saw the video, and actually it's funny, because it, traditionally I, I thought about, like, th this exact thing. I think it's interesting, Arena as a competitive format. I love seeing Arena tournaments. Um, I think there are ways that we...